guys. Many congratulations on the film. Would you mind just telling us a little bit about the story and, and where we find Riley? Yeah, Riley's uh, from the Midwest in the, in the United States and her family moves to San Francisco. And so that's a big change. She has new friends, uh, new surrounding, new house. Um, and of course, that's uh, then a big emotional change for her and that's what we get to meet her emotions who help her kind of through that whole process. How do you uh, come up with this idea and, and sort of come up with a story behind it. I was looking in my mind for new subject matters to play with, like, I was thinking, oh, I love penguins, well, oh, they've done that. Uh, <laughs> how about the, the, the body? I've seen that before too, but I've never seen something with emotions as characters, the mind instead of the brain. What if we went in and saw our emotions as characters? And really, the first thing was defining emotions and how many are there and, um, is there any sense of what they would look like? Of course, yeah. there isn't, but yeah. there were lists. There were and greatly debated how many there are. Some would say three, some would say 26. But of all the lists that we read between the scientists, the, the five that were most consistent were the five that we went with. And uh, we obviously couldn't make a movie with 27 emotions starring, you know, Schadenfreude and, you know, and everybody <laughs> well, we else. Tried, we tried, <laughs> Tell me about um, defining the look of the five emotions that you went with as well. We'd walk in the room some mornings and it would be full, all the walls, with, with drawings of, of all the different characters. And I remember Albert Lozano drew joy as just like a star. Yeah, she's just like exploded. this explosion of Damn. happiness and, and joy. Energy. And she's illuminated. And so even that, if you look at her, even her body shape and the way she holds herself, she's kind of always a star and sadness is a tear. You know, he drew her as a Ooh. tear and that was kind of cool. Like they're, they're rooted in some sort of shape language as their visual grammar. We really wanted to make a film that was entertaining and fun and uh, it feels like people have, have been entertained by it but also feel something with it and that's really nice.